for my predictions, it's been like maybe 60 days since I made them. So there's a very high likelihood that uh, most of them are wrong at this point, but uh, let's, let's, I'll check in on, on them. So my, uh, my favorite prediction was uh, we'll see a $2 billion game. <clears throat> but I was very, uh, mobile game that is. Uh, so I was very uh, vague about this, uh, this prediction because I didn't say it would be, all have to be revenues coming in one year, right? So, um, so Supercell is already there, right? Um, you know, they're probably going to do, I think, $1.4 billion uh, for 2014 revenues. And uh, uh, that's just from three games. Um, and you can probably figure Clash of Clans was a big part of that. Uh, it was a big part of it the year before. So, yeah, it's not that hard for uh, Clash of Clans to cross the $2 billion uh, revenue mark. Um, but to do that in, in one year would be a bit more of a challenge. Uh, they'd have to maybe double their monetization. Um, they could really maybe probably accomplish that by putting the squeeze on their clans. Uh, but. Uh, they might get a lot of angry players who drop out as well. So, I don't know. Uh, the bubble won't burst in games, but it will deflate in some areas. So, I don't know, uh, social casino games uh, maybe have seen better days. Uh, uh, a lot of those companies sort of uh, saw that uh, the top five uh, casino game companies uh, have more than half the market share now. And uh, they moved on over to sports betting. Right? Um, and, uh, and we'll see where that goes. The Helsinki Game Studios have, uh, have all gotten funding and, and lots more funding. Um, we'll see if they can keep that going. Um, and the Chinese are still out there investing a lot of money in everything. Uh, so, so that may kind of counterbalance any uh, sort of deflation of some of the, these bubbles that happen. I said that Sony would full, pull further ahead in, in consoles in 2015. It seems... Uh, quite uh, easy prediction that they've already got sort of 20 million sold now. Um, and uh, I did think the Order 1886 was going to be a much better game than it was. Uh, but uh, anyway. VR will debut in 2015. Uh, so maybe that's Valve VR now, or Steam VR uh, via HTC. Uh, Samsung is kind of already out there with uh, Gear VR. Uh, Oculus is still the big question, whether they're going to launch this year. Sony said yesterday that they're going to launch Mo Morpheus in 2016 early. Uh, and then there's OSVR as well. Uh, not to mention a ton of other sort of augmented reality things coming like uh, HoloLens from Microsoft. Um, smaller is better. Uh, I made this uh, prediction that, uh, you know, uh, smaller game companies will continue to outdo uh, a lot of the teams that are gigantic. Um, so Supercell runs Clash of Clans uh, with a team of 15 people. Um, they have 150 people in the whole company still. And that is uh, a year after they uh, took in one and a half billion dollars from SoftBank. So that's pretty uh, amazing that they can do it so efficiently. Uh, but uh, I think uh, clearly they're sort of outsourcing some things like uh, uh, community support or, or the FAQs to, to help shift. Uh, so uh, I think that's gonna continue. I said uh, gamers will come to terms with stereotypes and realities. And uh, uh, this is sort of more hopeful than, uh, than actually uh, expected, I guess. Um, uh, I'm hoping that Gamergate ends in the right way uh, with a greater appreciation for women and diversity in gaming. But I'm not sure we're gonna get there uh, this year. Uh, I think it's an awful movement and I hope it morphs into something better. Um, the last three predictions, uh, uh, I'm not quite retracting them yet. Uh, I said hackers will take down more major games. China's momentum will continue. Esports companies will uh, continue to dominate as well. And then I would add one more, which be, would be retention and, enga and engagement should count more than ever. And that brings us to our panel session. <laughs>